Hey everyone, Joe here from Joe Old Paddles. Today we're going to do a quick little video on how to re-oil your paddle. I get asked all the time for people buying my paddles, how to maintain them, how to re-oil it when need be. And I've been meaning to do this video for quite a long time, so we're going to do it today uh, using a canoe paddle. Instead of one of my Greenland paddles, just being shorter, it's going to be easier to do for the sake of the video. This paddle's uh, I believe two, maybe three years old, it's one I've been using quite a bit. It's also been used as a loaner paddle a few times. It's actually in really good shape. There's barely any nicks on it. It's in good shape. But I sanded it down using 150 grit sandpaper on the random orbital sander, then 220 grit, and then finished it off by hand, touching it up a little bit more with 220 grit sandpaper. And yes, I actually have a dog named Sandpaper. And now uh, it's all rubbed down. Get the dust off. It was a clean cloth. And it's pretty much ready now for the first coat of oil. I'm going to use a tongue oil on it. I'm going to do probably two coats will be enough. If it was a brand new paddle, I'd do about four. But it's still pretty well oiled despite having to sand it down a little bit. So one coat of oil today. I'll put a coat on, let it sit for about 15 minutes and rub it down. Then I'll wait till tomorrow, do another coat, and then it should be good to go for the season. Hey everyone, I'm back. I just got the shop set up to get your oil out and get ready. So here we go. Small cotton cloth. This one's been used a few times. Pour on a little bit of oil. And we start applying to the paddle. Don't want to be shy. You want to use a fair bit of oil on it. Really let it soak in. ask how often they should re-oil their paddle. Well, if it starts getting nicks in it or just a little bit of a rough feeling to it and you're checking it out, uh, it probably needs a fresh coat of oil. You should do it several times a year if you're using your paddle a lot, like I do. So there's the blade. It's actually my favorite part of building paddles is putting on the first coat of oil on a new paddle. That's when you just see the wood come alive. You see the grain standing out, the colors really makes it pop so that first coat. It's looking good already. Get a little bit more down on the tip of that blade. That's where it gets the most abrasion from rocks and the rivers and things like that. But we really want to make sure we get lots of oil on that tip. Now we're going to set it aside, we're going to wait about 15 or 20 minutes, and then we're going to rub it down with a couple clean cotton cloth. So we'll be back in about 15 minutes. Okay, so about 20 minutes has gone by, and now we've got a couple of clean cotton cloths, lint free, and we're just going to rub down the paddle. Wondering why I'm using two paws. One, I just basically hold the paddle so I don't get my hands completely soaked with oil again and again and again. So you just rub it down quite vigorously. You're rubbing, when you're putting the oil on, you're rubbing it into the wood so it'll absorb. And then after about 20 minutes, 15 minutes, you're just rubbing off the excess oil, kind of buffing up the surface a little bit. So use a fair bit of pressure. to it. So that is done for the first coat and tomorrow I will come back out tomorrow. So in between coats what I'll do is I'll take a piece of ultra fine steel wool and I'm going to use that to rub down the entire paddle. And what that's going to do is just rough up the surface just slightly so the next coat of oil can penetrate more easily. So rub it down with steel wool between coats, take another clean cotton cloth, wipe it down the paddle after rubbing it down with the steel wool, 
and then you're ready to reapply the next coat of oil. Wait 20 minutes, rub it down. For this paddle, that'll probably be it. I don't think it'll need another coat. It had been in a little rougher shape, and I had to sand it down more to bare wood. Then there'd definitely be at least a third coat going on, maybe a fourth coat. So that's it for that. Uh, I hope this helps. If you have any questions, you can comment down below. And if you like this video, click the like and hit that subscribe button. We're trying to build up the channel, and we'll talk to you again soon.